Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Claydesk. My name is Syed and we're gonna be talking about DevOps engineer versus solutions architect. What are the basic differences, right? So make sure you watch the video till the end and of course like, comment and subscribe as you go along. I'll be happy to answer all these questions for you. So without further ado, let's dive right in. I'm gonna be talking about DevOps engineer versus solutions architect and the main key differences. So DevOps engineer and solutions architect are two very different job titles, right, in the tech industry. Basically, a DevOps engineer is responsible for the development and operations of different software applications, whereas a solutions architect is responsible for designing and implementing IT solutions, right? So that's the key difference right off the bat. Now, I'm going to compare and contrast these two different job titles and discuss the skills and experience necessary for each of those. So if you're interested in becoming a DevOps engineer, perfect. Or if you want to become a solutions architect, that's even better. So what is a DevOps engineer? Let's start with that first. So a DevOps engineer is, like I said, responsible for smooth operations of the software development processes, the SDLC. Now they work with developers and they also work with the operations team or the IT staff, right, to automate tasks. So the main objective of a DevOps engineer is to create that bridge, right, between the dev and the ops folks, right? So, and of course, automation so that everything flows automatically through the pipeline. Now, DevOps engineers also monitor systems to identify and diagnose issues so they can be quickly resolved. So they're also, you know, having the, the monitoring tools, right? So this they're monitoring the entire pipeline and watching out for any bugs or errors. Uh, you know, not just QA testing. He's not a QA tester, right? So those are separate team. But overall, the DevOps engineer is responsible for a smooth operation. Now, they typically have a strong background in both development and operations. And that makes sense because if you're a developer and you're not, you know, the ops guy, well, that may not suit well, right? So the skills that are needed for a DevOps engineer are both some kind of development, just at a fundamental level where you don't have to be an expert coder. And if you are, that's perfect. But at the same time, you also should be familiar with the operations, right? Now, this allows them to effectively communicate and collaborate uh, both with the teams across the entire organization. And DevOps engineers are essential for companies that want to release new software features and updates on a regular basis. So if you're you know, changing software or you're developing software for a client, you would need a DevOps engineer. Now let's get down to what is a solutions architect. Well, solutions architect, whether you're an AWS certified solutions architect or uh, GCP or any other platform, that cloud platform that you're working on, as long as you're a solutions architect, you will work with clients to understand their business needs and goals. So this is a client facing job title, and then design and implement a technical solution that align with those objectives. So you're on the drawing board. Now they act as a bridge between the business and the technical side of an organization, ensuring that projects are completed on time, within budget, and also to the required specifications. So like a project manager, right? Yeah, that kind of rings a bell, but not entirely right because the focus here is designing in architecting a solution that meets the objective of the business need of the client solutions architects typically have a strong background in software development and deep understanding of multiple technical platforms so there you go cross platform skills are a big big plus for a solutions architect so if you're working with google cloud you're working microsoft azure or aws perfect you would have that basic experience, right? All right, so, and they use this knowledge to create comprehensive system designs that consider all aspects of a project from a user experience to the backend infrastructure. So basically a solutions architect would understand the given scenario and then uh, come up with a solution, whether they wanna use Kubernetes or they wanna use Docker containers, they wanna use EKS, ECS or whatever, right? So that's the architecture or the goal of a solutions architect. Now, DevOps engineer versus a solutions architect, the job duties, quite briefly, 
DevOps engineers typically focus on the technical aspects of implementing a process or within the pipeline, and they're responsible for creating and maintaining the tools that help them collaborate effectively. Whereas solutions architects handle the business side of the implementation, researching potential obstacles and providing solutions to ensure success, right? So by now you would probably are fairly clear on which job title you would like to pursue. And if you are, you will know exactly what this is all about. Now, while both roles work together to implement new systems, DevOps engineers tend to focus on the technical infrastructure, while the solutions architect consider the business requirements. The duties of each role also differ, by the way, depending on the project. Now, I've seen DevOps engineers, you know, also doing some architecture, and I've seen solutions architect doing DevOps role, right? So, hey, that that happens. And again, this is based on the organization itself. So for example, if a company wants to migrate from an on-premise solution to the cloud, the solutions architect would research the best option and determine how to use the new system, right, most effectively. While the DevOps engineer would then create the necessary tools to support the new system. Kind of makes sense, right? Perfect. All right, so if you're looking to get a job, for example, as a DevOps engineer or a certified solutions architect, DevOps engineers and solutions architects typically need a bachelor's degree in computer science or any other field. But here's the good news. Companies are hiring individuals just based on their skills or certification. So if you are, for example, an AWS certified solutions architect, uh, associate level or the professional level, perfect. You can definitely get into an organization and they do not require a bachelor's degree. But you also need to have some experience or some projects that you've been working on hands-on. And if you're new or an entry level, definitely you don't have that experience. But the best way to ace an interview, and of course watch the other videos, is the fact that you have worked on certain project hands-on. So you are able to, let's say, uh, deploy a Kubernetes cluster, right? And again, on your own, so you don't have to have real world experience because, hey, you're just starting off with the job, right? That kind of makes sense. So additionally, by the way, DevOps engineers and solutions architects can pursue certifications like I mentioned earlier, uh, like, for example, the uh, you know Amazon Web Services or Certified Solutions Architect or Google Certified Professional or Azure Architect, right? And that kind of gives you an edge over the rest of the industry or individuals so that you can easily get into get your foot in the door with a potential company let's talk about briefly the work environment of these two right so solutions architect and devops engineers can work in a variety of environments like i said sometimes you know duties overlap right depending on the company both roles may work for software companies that develop products to help other businesses improve their operations they may also work for consulting firms or IT support teams at large enterprise organizations. So it depends on where you want to you know, go and start your career. Now the skills that are needed, very important. Both DevOps engineer and solutions architect roles require excellent problem solving skills. And I cannot stress this enough because as an enterprise IT architect, hey, I'm always constantly trying to come up with solving this problem, right? And the problem is what? A business problem, a technical problem, right? What is the best alternative? What is the best tool to use? What is the most efficient? And of course, gain the operational efficiency. That's, that's important. So as a DevOps engineer, you'll be responsible for resolving issues with software development or deployments and configurations, for example, while a solutions architect may involve let's say high level problem solving right such as designing complex systems and architectures both of these roles require technical skills no doubt right so you need to be technical hands-on and very tech savvy and of course learning is another aspect you're constantly constantly learning because the tools keeps changing right for example aws comes up with new services new options and you ought to be able to make sure that you're leading at the forefront so in terms of, let's say, specific uh, skills used on the job, for example, a DevOps engineer role require more skills related to code management, uh, deployment of software, uh, continuous you know, integration, continuous delivery, for example, testing, while a solutions architect may require more skills related to system design, integration, and security. Now, and finally, the salaries, let's briefly talk about those DevOps engineer on average, they earn about 
you know, in six figures, 110,000, 120,000, sometimes even 150,000, depending on where you are, in which part of the, um, you know, region uh, within within the U.S. And the solutions architect, their average salary is 130K. Now, both of these salaries can vary depending on, of course, the size of the company, your experience, your negotiation skills, right? And of course, go watch the video on negotiation. Very important because you can actually negotiate your salary, right? All right. And of course, the location of the job and the level of experience you have prior to pursuing the position. Perfect. I hope this helps. I've talked about the differences, the main key differences between DevOps engineer and a solutions architect. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. My name is Syed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Because every company needs a manager. Not that one. How can I give you a job? You don't have any experience. Just kidding. Hey, what's your experience all about? You don't even have any certifications. How can I hire you?